Alright, recording has begun. We're back to the melee run. It's been about a week, and uh, I was just trying to remember what all happened last time. So, we had just gotten sunblockers. We just went ancient danger diving, although we didn't really find very much. We're going to do more of that today. We have an ancient uh, structure to go check out as well. And I believe Cassandra just came off cooldown. So, we did get sunblockers, and we got switched over to mushrooms. Um, yeah, it's been going fairly well. We got to four ponds, finally. So, uh, for anyone that's new to this run... Basically, we're un we're not allowed to get new pawns that actually join unless they become melee gods, and we can only do new melee gods basically every two years. So every two years, our real pawn population can double pretty much. And one of our goals is to find good pawns, uh, good pawns to make into melee god pawns at the end of those two-year cooldowns. So, um, and we just did that. We just did that. We got now up to four pawns. So, all right. Missed an entire DLC release. Uh, it was really nuts. Yeah, for the first part of the DLC release, we were getting like 2,000 average viewers a day. And for a long time, we were getting over 1,000 for for quite a while. It was an insane launch. Yeah. But things have died down now. That's been several months back. I don't know what that means, Wider. Welcome in. It means good. <laughs> I was going to wait until there was an explanation before I said anything. Mitchie, welcome back. Dogma. Buster Chim Nuts, already said. Wood Witch, welcome in. Going down, welcome in. All right, all right. It's a freaking chair, man. I gotta get it fixed or get a new one or something. I keep talking about that every week. Okay, so we just got back from uh, doing a couple of Ancient Dangers. And we're gonna do some more of those. We're gonna do them uh, probably every time that Cassandra's on a cooldown. We're gonna use some of the stuff from those. Yeah, there we went. We did those right there. Uh, we're gonna use some of the stuff from those to Almost get allies uh, that's another Brave thing we were working on do we i think we finally got an ally yeah we got allies with the pigs so next time there's like a siege or something we can call in our pig allies uh food's actually going really well now we're, we're starting to get a lot of a lot of mushrooms so we'll be putting some shelves and whatnot an infection on oh that's one of our allies okay and then let me take a look at the cassandra cooldown because it has been a week so Cassandra, Cassandra just hit us. So she just went on cooldown, I guess. Just went on cooldown. Okay. Now uh, we're gonna do an ancient complex too. We haven't done one yet this run. Uh, Cyrus, thank you for the Twitch Prime. Thank you using that here. Counts the same as a tier one sub. No, it's definitely. I was gonna say closely guarded secret, but it came out kind of weird. It came out. <laughs> All right, we're working on getting our pollution around as well. Um, research is kind of crazy. We're almost done with research. And let's see where we were on the rituals. On the rituals. We have public execution coming up in five days. Um, and then our dance party in six. So it does look like Cassandra just went on cooldown. I think we're going to go out immediately for some more ancient danger fighting. Don't you point your finger at me. Too late. What's the cooldown for Cassandra? Cassandra has a 10.6 day cycle. I have a guide on it. If you go to Exclamation Storytellers, it tells the cycles and stuff of all the storytellers and what they can and can't do. Cassandra's is a 10.6 day cycle. For 4.6 days, she can attack you with up to two major events. And then she goes on cooldown for six days. So if Cassandra has attacked you twice with major events within a 4.6 day period, she actually won't attack again for six days. So you can do whatever you want. Obviously you can have minor events during that time. And you can have, like, quest events or whatever if you've accepted those. But, uh, yeah. All right. So, uh, last time we left... Let me look. Who did we leave here last time? Uh, it was Mind Freeze that we left behind. Because Mind Freeze is our only non-tough, I believe, out of them. So, uh, Sav, thank you for the 200 bit. Thank you, Sav. Thank you, thank you. Putting ingredients on shelves help with avoiding food poisoning? It does not. No. Yeah, I already finished the No Walls run yet. A new subscriber. Come oh my god. Yourself. We are building an army. Well, is getting problematic finding drugs to feed all addictions? How do you end up solving that? Trading. Yeah, we managed to get to somewhere that trade. Waffles. 50. I thought it said 20 at first, which is still insane. I was about to say thank you so much for the 20 gift subs. Waffles, thank you for the 50 gift subs. Holy crap. 
Uh, much loved waffles. Hey, sub goal. We did it. We did it. Uh, waffles did it. Thank you, waffles. Again, <laughs> very much appreciated. Um, much loved waffles. Again. All right, let's get out of here and do some ancient danger diving. We're going to take that, uh, and we're going to say that this is going to give us good luck on our next ancient danger, right? So we're going to take these three. And I guess I should take the horse so that we have a little bit of pack room to carry stuff back with. We got our travel supplies. We're going to take more package survival meals because we might stop at a couple of these. All right. Let us head out. Let us head out. Yeah, thank you again, Waffles. Wonder if Heal Zeroni is here today. I haven't seen them since they're... That that one crazy day. That was that was last weekend, right? Yeah, that was nuts. Like last Sunday. Another infection. Ah, uh, they might die. They might die. It's whatever. Mind freeze is a doctor though. Mind freeze. We they have fifty five percent manipulation because of this. <laughs> All right. A magnanimous dispensation. What? That's so many bits. <laughs> All aboard the hype train. Let's see if I'm reading this correctly. Waffles, thank you for the 31,337 bits. Waffles, I think you are only the second person ever at the channel to give a total of over 100,000 bits. And the last person, it took them, and I'm not saying this in a negative way, it's just crazy. Uh, it's a good kind of crazy, though. The last person, I think it took them like four or five years of giving bits over time to get there. Uh, which is very much appreciated as well, but holy crap. Waffles, congratulations to both of us. <laughs> uh, much love to Waffles again. What is my favorite drink? That's a tough one. My favorite, favorite drink. Oh, I don't know. This is probably not something I drink all the time. That's a tough one. I have to think about that. Think about that. You know what came to my mind immediately and par partially because oh, I haven't had it in a long time? some really good like spiced cider spice cider go juice i've had spice cider in a long time phoenix thank you for the 100 bits also thank you phoenix hey there's hills are running now let's go hills running uh but yes hills running thank you again and waffles thank you and we just killed that person with our bare hands that's one problem with the melee genes is uh we're quite deadly even when we don't mean to be <laughs> so, all right well um that takes care of that all right. All righty then. All righty. Let's chonk all over again. That's exactly why this pawn... This pawn is a candidate for Welcome our future... For a future melee god. This is our candidate for that. I remove their legs. <laughs> it's like, I don't want to accidentally kill you again. Hot toddies. Spice drinks are delicious. Graf, thank you for the 15 months. Has it been that long? It's been almost a full calendar year. Yeah, thank you, Graf. Yeah, thank you guys again. Dear Jeebus. Hey, my Jeebus. How's it going, R squared? A little late. It's all right. I was a little late today, too. The only way brother. It's going R squared. Jack, Matt, welcome in. All right. Let's see if this ancient danger... What are we looking for in our ancient dangers? We are looking for... Tech prints. Weapons. Um, Yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> friends and weapons those are the top of our list right so all right we're gonna go ahead and uh put this in the stockpile here and let's see here ancient danger ancient danger not all maps have ancient danger but on average they have one um that's not an ancient danger hmm well what do you know if this one has one, it's very deeply buried, but not touching the not touching the borders, so. Alright, we'll pack up. Go to the next tile. Make sure we get all the stuff. All the stuff. Alright. Alright. Bonzio, welcome in. Low food. Ah, you guys are fine. Don't worry about it low food okay so we're going to abandon this one 
And let's try this one. Now that we have these sunblockers around, this is going to be even easier on us. So the sunblocker is giving us some dodge. So we have our darkness uh, precept now. Okay. Uh, all right. There's an ancient danger. So there's at least one. Every now and then on this map size, you'll get two. The bigger your map size, the more ancient dangers you have on average. But this is a medium sized map. So that is probably one too actually we'll check that before we go it might not be but it's not a damaged wall which makes me makes me suspicious all right all right here we go so we're gonna set that to deconstruct get them over here uh not that one we want to be able to melee block so there we go in fact let's do here that way we also can run back and, and block here all right, so Christopher. Am I dropping frames? No, I'm not. Nope. Uh, drop frame zero, connection stable. I'm good. Let's see the Twitch or you. Okay. So, hopefully these guys are dead. Uh, we got two Sooth Pulsers, Tornado Generator, something in there. So definitely not what we wanted right off the bat, but also kill these guys, strip them, and go from there. All right, back. Welcome back. Your steadfast. Uh, Minoc, fourteen months. Thank you, Minoc. Much for shooting. All right, perfect. Uh, let's see here. Sure, happy. We're looking for tough. Okay, no tough, so. Strip, strip. Put them all, actually. So yeah, just strip them all. Strip them all. Ancients usually have stuff in their pockets. Uh, and let's send you guys down here to check and see if this was also an ancient danger. Where was that? Right here. Okay, we got those stripped. Uh, I'm also going to destroy this. Actually, it would be easier if I do it this way. Got attack print for specialized limbs. Not bad. Not bad. Okay. Uh, it looks like... Yeah, that is an ancient danger. Nice. So we got two ancient dangers on this map. Let's get this one. Let's get this one here. Any of you guys miners? This was kind of a miner, but not really. Be careful of mood here. Let's go on, Miss Dead Eye Wizard. Welcome in. Stripping on the rim. Stripping on the rim. All right, pop that. All right, it's bugs, and only a couple. Another tech print for brain wiring, nice. Oh, it's doing the bug again, Christ. I have to man manually attack the bug, there we go. Okay, um... So we're going to open this and pop out. Actually, I'm going to attack it from this side. Okay, it's just Ancients again. Just Ancients again. Okay. I need soft people. Sanguine. No, we're just looking for tough. Okay, attack that. We'll open this as well. Ooh, healer mech serum. That's always nice to see. Right. Always good to see. Alright, a decent haul, a decent haul. 
So now we got to get out of here before they have breakdowns and we'll just bring that stuff home. And we'll sort it from there. Okay, travel supplies. We want to make sure we are bringing all of our food along with us. Malaria. Yeah. So, Soothe Pulsers, excellent. Got some goodies that time. Got some goodies. Okay, that'll be enough. We got Malaria, the Slave, okay. The Slave. Let them have um, a little bit better medicine. Go from there. This way are the bugs activated oh yes bugs have been on in every single playthrough for the last two years so i plan on using loose fear in the future uh probably yeah probably how do i zoom in from the larger map can you do that to each time on the map because i i settled a new settlement that's a new settlement is that what you're talking about yeah that two ancient engines of the share wall yeah yeah that's really rare but yeah On the world map, no, Camera Plus doesn't do anything with that, so I just I just literally made a second settlement. If that's what you're talking about. Get out, get out. We're in, gonna end up, I didn't notice, we're gonna end up uh, leaving. Wait, 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 put that on. the recon armor get that there we go and add that too nice every close ah yeah it's poor quality oh there's normal there's some normal i gotta get out of here I gotta get out of here Okay. Do you have to abandon a settlement to a new tile? No. Uh, without a mod, you can have up to five settlements. There's an option in your, in your, in the game options that you go to, and you can put how many settlements you're allowed to have up to five without a mod. And you do need to set that if you're wanting to go ancient danger, diving as we call it. It's like dumpster diving, only you get really, really, really good stuff. What was the tin quality on Splash Woman? Not great. How's this guy doing? Oh, he's fine. Just turn the medicine off on that. Okay. We got our double wall set up. But we're going to do triple. We're going to do triple. All right. So this settlement is done. So we can abandon that one. And on our way back home. It's a headshot the moment you open one. Yeah. Well, uh, it's almost impossible for our guys to get one shot. So. Um, sucks to be you. Sucks to be you, McClure. Always reminds me of The Welcome Simpsons. Back. Ever so, a 13 months. Almost a full calendar year and then some. That's right. That's what they call a baker's year, I think. 13 months, a baker's year. You're making it up. I'll make everything up. Points don't matter, etc. All right, we got some real good stuff brought back. Some real good stuff. Mining some limestone chunks. Nice, nice. I need another minor slave. Not and that doesn't mean a child slave. Okay, mine freeze will take you back off doctoring. Calling as a two. There we go. Makes you want donuts. Just mention the Simpsons. Uh. All right, so we got four days left. Love the plastic for weight. I don't. Re yeah, I don't really need it yet. It'd be pretty easy to come by. I probably should have just brought it, just because I will eventually need it. But don't want a minor, 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 minor. Roger, Roger. Our modest Roger, Roger. fellowship expands. Praise the sun. Roger, Roger, Roger. All right, we're going to apply these tech prints. 
So this is going to get these out of the pool as well. So now we are more likely to get other tech prints that we're wanting. So excellent, excellent. King Clyber and funny. Hackers your dozen. <laughs> Come on, Galmer, welcome in. Sigden Duckle Squared, welcome back. Uh Jiglio, thank you for the subscription. Thank you for using I was gonna say they were using that here, like it's a Twitch Prime one, but thank you. Thermoth start of the game. Is it good to speed research? As long as you can stay alive while you research it. Yeah, it's one of the ones I get pretty early is geothermal. Yep. I try to say low wealth and then get to geothermal. You get too greedy when ancient danger diving, you literally take everything back. <laughs> it's like, oh, we, we should deconstruct those walls. I really could use 61 slate. <laughs> yeah, no problem. All right, Lumberjack, let's chop these up for the go bad. Maybe mm -hmm. make drill arms for the slave, yeah. Yeah, if we get a minor slave, that's what we're looking for. What is Splash Omen good for? Planting. Planting slave. All right, we are overproducing mushrooms, so we will be able to uh, either make five meals out of those if we want, or we can go trade the excess. And we are working on surrounding our base in pollution. Should be pretty, pretty interesting to do. John, Katia, welcome in. Been watching on YouTube. Don't really enjoy watching streams live, but you wanted to support the crazy run. Loving the dwarf run. That's awesome. Yeah, thank you for letting me know. Thank you for watching over there. And yeah, wherever you enjoy watching best is all good. You're an actual transhumanist, so you like... Seeing it in Rimworld. Oh, oh, you like that one, yeah. Your favorite. favorite. Yeah, the Transhumanist run was a lot of fun, yeah. They've changed Transhumanist a little bit since I did that one because it was when ideology was new. Um, Might have to do another Transhumanist run sometime. Maybe like the Mechanitor start. Why surround my base with pollution? Pollution stimulus. We get extra movement and extra consciousness when we're fighting in pollution, so... And enemies that don't have this are going to get debuffs. Marble walls. Yes, they are. These are marble walls. Yeah, the outside is limestone. Go on, Trisha. Welcome in. Oh, uh, yeah. Thank you for letting me know, cat. And again, thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. All right. Uh, how's our drugs? We have 12, so we definitely want to go get more go juice. So I'm probably going to send Crispa out on the road. Uh, it has some... We can make our own go juice now. We do have Nutramine. Who's on that? Hmm. That's right. We don't have anyone set up for crafting yet because our crafter slave also died. Both of them. So, we're going to have to look for a crafter as well. Uh, in the meantime, we can set Christopher higher on crafting. So, let's go ahead and do that. Make sure that's getting completed. Turn this on your TV. It'd be nice to have TV with Sky, guys. <laughs> Baker's Dozen, because your favorite band, Fish. Your favorite band is Fish, really. Baker's Dozen Run at MSG in New York, where they played 13 shows in a row. No repeat songs. Fish. Go on, Chandler, making some dinner. Enjoy your dinner. I want to go hit another Ancient Danger while we wait. No, I, I'm, I think I'm going to send Christopher out to trade if these have reset. These have reset. Let's go ahead and do that. Hang on, cat wants in. A new subscriber. Come steal yourself. We are building an army. What? Gonzo Archer? Gonzo, they were the 20 gift subs. Happy weekend to us. Ah, uh, thank you, Gonzo. It's very much appreciated. Gonzo, like the Gonzo, like the like the blue one. Is there any other? There, yeah, there is another Gonzo, actually. Uh, thank you, Gonzo. Very much appreciate it. Thank you. Much love to the Gonzo. Thank you. Get off my 
Get off my hoodie. Get off my hoodie, Aries. All right, Christopher, a horse. Human leather. Yeah, we will end up uh, doing some doing some luciferium someday. Mm hmm. Normal quality. Ah, we can get more gold all the time, so screw that. Screw it. All right, hit the road, Christopher. The road. Oh yeah, this button again. All aboard. Going, Doug. Welcome in. Train. Working on anything today, Doug? Q, welcome in. How many horrific mutilations have happened so far? I lost count. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Don't know where Aries ended up. <laughs> We saw a goods trader right as soon as we are headed out, so. Uh, we can see what they... See if I have anything else laying around they might want. Uh... Oh well, we just took all of our stuff away. <laughs> Certain circles called Gonzo. May I ask when Melee only will come to YouTube? Uh, it's gonna be a while, yeah. The next the next run going to YouTube is the No Walls Challenge. Yeah. So I have no idea, honestly. This run just started, so. Dwarf Run's not even fully done. Dwarf Run has like one more episode left, I think. And then after that, the No Walls Impossible Challenge will go to YouTube. But uh, now that I have multiple editors, we should be catching up um, at some point. At some point. Yeah, this one just started, so this one probably won't. Melee run probably won't be on YouTube for, you know, like a month or two. Igor is already on YouTube, yeah. Igor's been on YouTube for like a year, so I'm guessing you mean Winston Waves. Any other door for run? You were surprised again? Yeah, man, that really sucked. And the crazy thing was it was so active. That's like the most active royalty ending ever. And it was almost, almost done. Like less than two days. Does Golem watch on Twitch? He does, yeah. Gonzo! Thank you, Gonzo. Thank you for being here. Alrighty, let's trade... So, we're going to see what uh, tech prints they have. They have none. Well, maybe if I spell it correctly, they'll have some. They have jump packs. We could go ahead and get that out of the, out of the list here. Uh, let's see how much money we'll get from this. Um, thirteen sixty. Okay. Well, you get a lot of the golds. What else? Do you guys have any armor? You do not. Do you have any helmets? Have a cataphract helmet. We'll be grabbing that. We'll be grabbing that. In fact, we're just going to grab that for now. And then we're going to head on down to this one and see if they have any of those as well. Thought about doing a playthrough with combat extended. A lot of people want me to. Maybe I'll do it at some point, but it's not on the immediate list. Fish, you're a big old jam hippie. Oh yeah, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter to me what music you like. I don't know why people get that way about other people's music taste. Like I don't, I don't care. Enjoy whatever you enjoy. As long as it's not hurting anyone. I mean, I think I have like two fish songs on my everything playlist. If I remember right. Uh, no other helms there. Prestige marine armor. Okay. And no go juice either. All right, so we'll just stop back through here. Ever thought about playthrough with a combat extended? Oh, I read that. I read that. But only if I also enjoy it. Otherwise, unacceptable. Not Wayne Brady. Suspicious. Suspicious name as always. 
Love to see how I handle... Uh, what? If you buy a tech print, does it stop being for sale? If you apply a tech print, it stops being for sale. Yeah. If you apply it. Apply. See if we can get down there in time. Sander is going to be... Well, let's check. Let's take a gander here. Sander hit us last time on around day 210. It is 214, so she's on cooldown for a little bit longer. Don't like see it all the much, just annoying. Yeah, I know a lot of people love it, a lot of people hate it, and a lot of people say it's pointless, but yeah, I don't know. Reason for the pool, yeah, so that's one reason why we're using a bunch of them is like, even though like I probably won't use brain wiring, I mean, maybe, maybe we will, but. Oh, another cataphract element, nice. Nice. Um, some good upgrades there. Eh? Are you using a custom genotype for this run? Yes. Yep. That's that's what the that's like the entire point of the run. Yeah, is to push um, genes to the max. I don't have enough money to buy Arco legs, yeah. Obviously, I would love to have Arco legs on everyone. Or, you know, all of our melee pawns, of course. But uh, we don't we don't have that kind of money yet. After this next Cassandra hit, we'll go do some more Ancient Dangers, and then we might have enough. Yeah, you can Shock Lance, yeah. Shock Lance a little bit trickier to use uh, with no paws, of course. But yeah, you can. All right, Christopher is back. Okay. Oh, that's the sound of the the uh, generator over there. All right. That's the sound of the generator. <laughs> Steal the mushroom farm. I'm overproducing, yeah, because I, I never know. Like, I'm fine if some of this rots, but we're overproducing because you never know when I'm going to have, like, refugees or lots more prisoners or, or anything, you know? So. Just overproducing. Got yeah, a lot. Um, yeah, a lot. 247 size. <laughs> Cataphract with jump pack versus recon armor. In a run like this. Uh, in a run like this, Cataphract armor is going to be really important. So, yeah. We can overcome the speed difference, especially with, you know, go juice. So, Cataphract go juice. Yeah. Definitely want to get to, uh, to Cataphract. Um, all right. That's good for now. That's good for now. Okay, our go juice and tea stocks looking all right overall. Chris was making some more of that. Also, let's go ahead and put the Nutramine on this shelf just so I can keep a closer eye on it. Um, I will make its own shelf. It's fine. Make its own shelf. Visitors. Okay, we might anger the pigs again. Well, I don't know. We just allied them. Nah, he's not. He's not tough anyway. He's not tough. You ain't tough. You ain't nothing. What yield is per square building you made? I mean, it takes... So if you're wondering, if you have a, a pawn with no hunger increase or decrease, it takes about 20 plots of mushrooms to feed them on simple meals forever. Um, If that's, if that's what number you're looking for is. So 20 plots of mushrooms... We'll basically feed a colonist simple meals forever if there's no other. If it gets planted and harvested um, on cooldown, if that pond doesn't eat more or less, you'll, you'll have a little left over. Many enemies. It's a one-star quest. 
Two raids. 12-year-old. We don't want 12-year-old. Which playthrough did I struggle the most? The hardest run I've ever done is the first melee only run. The first melee only run is up on YouTube. Uh, nothing else has been close ever. That was before ideology or uh, biotech, so I had a lot less tools. Obviously, I wasn't as good at this game back then. It was years, a couple years ago. But the 5% no pause melee only, the first one uh, up on YouTube, has been the hardest run ever so far. Charge rifles or assault rifles? It depends. Assault rifles are longer range, so assault rifles are better at kiting. You cannot really kite with charge rifles. Assault rifles outrange every mech aside from pikemen, and pikemen don't do a lot of damage, so you can literally kite and outrange centipedes without them ever having to hit, ever getting a shot off on you. So assault rifles are better for long range and for kiting and for multi-purpose. Now, charge rifles are higher damage and higher armor pin, so charge rifles are better if all you're doing is you're fighting things in um, like a 24 tile long kill box. If you're, if you're fighting nothing outside of like a 24 tile range ever, then charge rifles are, are going to win out for assault rifles and just raw damage. But a lot of the runs that I do, I literally could not complete the run with charge rifles. Like we just did a no wall run, no wall, no room, no door run. If I'd use charge rifles, we would have died. So, like with most questions in RimWorld, it depends. Um, there's a lot of good guns and, and, and weapons, but almost all of them are uh, situational or, you know, a niche weapon that you can build around to make them better, depending on how you want to play. So, yeah, there is no black and white, like, charge rifle versus assault rifle. For me, I usually go assault rifle because I kite a lot, and that... Kiting makes it so we don't take damage at all. We don't even get shot at. And I can just outrange everything other than snipers and miniguns. And, you know, like pikemen and legionnaires. So. Normal 28 tile assault rifle kill box. Is there a minimum pawn count needed for in-game raids? Keep getting overrun with 10 pawns. Um. 10 pawns. With 10 pawns, I would probably... Like if you're a, if you are opposed to using singularity, like ten pawns in a singularity will kill infinite raids. But if you're opposed to using that, make your uh, I, I would probably use the shotgun kill box around the low pawn count like that with melee blocks. That'll make it much easier. But yeah, it's you can get overran with in-game raids with with ten pawns, even with really good weapons. So you kind of have to play it a little bit differently. Gun Sky Storm, welcome in. What I want to see most in RimWorld's newest update, so there's two dream list items. One is performance update. I would love to be able to play RimWorld in a way where I could have like 100 pawns and it not lagging. Like 100 pawns going at 4x and not lagging. That's probably never going to happen, but performance update is my number one. Second is the world map being rehauled. The world being rehauled, giving you more positive incentive for going out in the world. Maybe new trade routes and, you know, water-based trade and maybe like maritime stuff and just, but the big thing is like rehauling the world faction bases, stuff like that would be my second. Drum roll the single core game. Yes. 10 pawns in the singularity. Isn't the limit nine? No, the limit is, is 11. So you can have 11 pawns in the singularity. It's in the guide. Um, so there's 11 spaces to shoot from. You can actually do more than that. There's a trick to it, but without using any special tricks, 11, not nine came out but never really made it yeah i mean there is more reason to go out there now than there used to be but it still is lacking yeah can you suggest the lord of the rim run you can suggest wherever you want doesn't mean i'm gonna do it but no i have a bunch of runs on my to-do list already so i can't i don't know when i would get to something like that but you can always yeah you can always suggest things of course all right uh where are we at here so we can do the dance festivals but Sander is about to come off cooldown, so we'll wait. We'll wait. We'll wait. All right, so on this, we are going to put our Nutramine there. Okay. All right, all right. Yeah, I have a bunch of things.
I mean, the game's just not optimized that much either. Like, yeah, even even a Threadripper isn't really going to give you the kind of performance I'm talking about. Potential runs upcoming would make sense to make that too public. Yeah, there's quite a few I want to do. So another set of runs that I want to do. All right, I'll, I'll list a few off I'm going to do at some point. I want to do an incapable violence run. I want to do an explosives only run. I think that would be nuts. Imagine starting out with five tribals with frag grenades. Good friggin' luck. I think that would be interesting and, and just silly and lots of death. And then I also want to do some more RNG runs. It's been it's been over a year since we did RNG runs. So an RNG run means randomizing pretty much everything. But now with genes, we could randomize it even more. So imagine a run where you have a, um, a random map seed, entirely random. You have one randomized, completely randomized pawn, an ideology that's randomized, and all their genes are randomized. And you throw them in there and you're like, all right, let's do let's Let's do this. Uh, those kind of runs are always like stupid fun, lots of losses, so. Uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Bassoon, Bassoon, much appreciated. Any update on multiplayer? I have no idea. Yeah, no idea. I feel like they're working on multiplayer, but that's just speculation. It's weird to have lag for a single player game. I mean, you can, you can have lag, frame rate lag in any single player game if your if your system isn't good enough, you know. All right. Uh we're going to start working on the third set of wall. But yeah, you can have frame rate problems in any game, but yeah, there's so many single player games that have lag. Complete all quests. We did we did complete all quests, yeah. It's just not on YouTube. We did that before right before bio that's the last run we were doing before bio uh biotech came out. You can even have lag in just a text based game, <laughs> yeah. Alright, the triple way to ethical way to get rid of waste packs uh yeah keep it frozen until you can put it in an atomizer or use a pollux tree that's the most ethical way yeah, yeah. if you don't want to use exploits or dump it on people looks like castle it's getting there it's getting there some of our mushrooms are going to rot. It's all right. I could make it into five mules, but I think I'm going to go trade some of it after the next Sandra hit. All right. Keep getting those limestone chunks. Real tribute collector. We don't care about that right now. Um. Yeah, the aesthetic person, I think, died, didn't they? Yeah, they did. All right. So, yeah, after Cassandra's next hit, we'll, uh, we'll do the joint events. Hopefully, we get some potential candidates for uplifting and if not maybe at least a crafter and a miner ethical in rimworld you can definitely do ethical runs we did one the good guy run even the doors were mostly honorable subscriber come steal your uh cam cam thank you for the five so thank you cam very much appreciated so much generosity this saturday morning appreciate it thank you cam uh, much love to cam Mm -hmm. Thunderbolt immediately after you become a slave. Apparently that's going to happen in this. That's, that's why when they are now, when they're possible candidates for being uplifted to a melee god, I remove their legs. <laughs> Enjoy the YouTube series. Thank you. Thank you for watching that. Habrilo, welcome in. Waited for an entire week. You'll wait for an entire week every week because at the moment, Rimworld is basically only on the weekends. It's going to be a multiplayer DLC. We may hope they'll also admit some performance things. Yeah, hopefully. Fire starting spree. So on average, um, they're going to start a fire once every... They're going to do this breakdown once every 50 days. That's how Pyro works. No matter how happy they are. How would an incapable violence run even work? How would you deal with raids? Uh, traps, IDs... We could use mechs now if we want to use mechs, animals, stuff like that. 
I'm actually thinking uh, mechs might make it a little bit too Welcome straightforward, so I might try it as without Mechanator at first. Appreciated. I try it without the Mechanator at first. Yeah, I think it'd be fun. I think the all explosives run would actually, I don't even know if that one would be possible, but an all explosives run would just be, it would be pretty, pretty stupid to do, like a stupid fun. We could even use a mod for that one to allow us to like make triple rockets or something. Let's go, Noko, welcome in. Bean, welcome in. <laughs> it does happen a lot. Uh, Dow, thank you for the seven months. Thank you, Dow. Much appreciated also. All right, so I guess we can go ahead and turn. Um, what? Let's increase the go juice. There we go. That should help. We'll increase this as well. Oh, so this sounds amazing. Yeah, it would be. It would be pretty nuts. <laughs> No violence run? Yeah, that's what I want to do as well. Yeah. Would you like to see the kill boxes we come up with in an all explosives run? I think that would be part of the, the fun. That's one reason why Winston Ways is so fun, was that I had to come up with all these new things and different ways to play in order to overcome it. Yeah, yeah, mortars would count, yep. Should I use traps for getting explosives? I don't think so. Traps, unless they're IEDs. So. Sharpie. No, I don't think I'd allow that. Game on every wave. Yeah, yeah, that was fun. Yeah, I think I would start out with uh, whatever starting number of pawns we chose to all start with frag grenades instead of normal weapons. But that would be that would be hard, you know. Welcome timing back. the throws in order to Your blow up correctly. Loyalty. Uh, Accord, thank you for the 21 months. Thank you, Accord. It's a long time, man. He was playing, didn't remember it was actually live. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, so Cassandra's off cooldown now. She came off cooldown about a day and a half ago, so. We're just going to chill here and wait for her to attack us as we get our triple wall set up. Marriage is on. Christopher and Splash went, oh my God, you're marrying a slave. I don't know, man. We're not uplifting her, so. Uh, sea ice, naked brutality, possible biotech. Probably, yeah. Probably. You do a custom xenotype, for sure. Does melee stat affect grenade accuracy? No. Nothing affects grenade accuracy in that sort of way. Grenade accuracy is just a one-tile miss radius, uh, force mist kind of thing. The all explosive run will be a blast. <laughs> going warship. Awesome. Welcome in. How's this one going? Uh, this one's been good so far. Yeah, it's been uh, it's been pretty good. Some really exciting early moments, you know. I think it's going to be really nuts when we start getting into like mid and late game raids, which we're getting close. I think this is only like the third stream of this or something. Any deaths yet? Uh, not no melee god deaths. We'll say that. Right. Use mortars in the explosive run. Yes. Beauty of the Beast marriage. We have the entire ship researched already. <laughs> All right. From a no wall run to a triple wall run. That's right. That's right. We missed the wall so much. Cassandra. Okay, there. Oh, nope. Assault job. Guarded by four wasters. He wants four soldiers. We could 100% do that, but the base would be empty while we were gone. So, nope. nope. An only wall run. <laughs> Visitors, ah, uh, where are they from? We could anger them. There's something good here. Nah, no tough. To anger them, I would want a tough pawn. Tough pawn. Is mortar and explosive? It's already starting and we're not even to that run yet. <laughs> oh man. I can't wait to see what the editors do with all the questions uh, on the edited version of people asking what is and isn't a wall. What's the melee best melee weapon? Uh, you're going to love this. It depends. Different melee weapons work better or worse against different armor types. And depending on if you want to destroy parts or make lots of bleeds or down or whatever, 
But ignoring all that, basically Zeus Hammer and Mono Sword. Zeus Hammer and Mono Sword are the best melee weapons. Which one is best depends on the situation, but they're so close. Um, so. It is contingent upon. There is a contingency of which one. There's a wall and explosive. No, but I, I can't wait to see that in the edit version. I'm at supply. All right, Cassandra. I'll send us a raid. Temperature better than wooden walls? No. No, the temperature calculation in RimWorld is not very complex. It's not like auction not, not included. Was the original melee run tougher than answering the no door wall questions? You know what? Maybe not. <laughs> Maybe not. Jim. <laughs> that chat voice sounds like Shaggy. Is a mortar a floor? Uh, yes, yeah, it is. Yeah. I hope there's a montage of just. <laughs> It's a montage of me answering what is and isn't a wall. What's the game called? Everything is bomb. Maybe get a link to that as an answer. Four-year-old with a Zeus hammer got his arm broken by a Neanderthal. Recurve bow. There's a floor a wall. You think that you think that would be a like a silly question, right? Why is this? But I got asked that quite a bit. I would have people come in, they'd be like, wait, 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 wait. You can't build walls? Well, what about flooring then? Hold on, hold on, hold on. You can't build walls. Are you allowed to have ceilings? No. No. Floor is just a uh, ground wall. Anyway. There's also a lot of people asking me if... Um, they're basically trying to find a way for me to circumvent my own challenge, which was a little bit silly. So it was like, wait, couldn't you just build your entire base as a, in a mountain? And then you'd be able to have a kill box and stuff. And I was like, yeah, I could do that. But then why even do the run? <laughs> Your cells have walls. It was a little bit weird. I, yeah. And I, the thing about it is I didn't think it was coming at all. So I made the title of the stream. I made a bot command. I made a bot timer, everything that was like, I cannot wall. I cannot use walls, specifically walls doors and I can't do anything that makes a room and we're playing on an open map everything else I can use that's it that's it I never thought I'd get so many questions but it was fine it, it didn't really bother me but <laughs> a lot of times I would just laugh at it I was like oh my lord Cassandra I want to go back to ancient danger diving can you please hit me hit me Uh, I finished the no walls run. Yeah. You want a spoiler for no walls? Here we go. I know some people are here from YouTube and they probably don't want me to spoil it because it's not on YouTube yet, but I'm going to spoil it. So you might want to mute it. I'll give you a second. Give you a second. All right, it's time. How'd the no walls run end? Um, I did a ship launch. I beat it and it was actually the easiest ship launch, seriously, that I've ever done. I was so overprepared for it that I'm not even sure we took damage. Did anyone even get hurt during the ship launch? I don't. I don't think so. Maybe, maybe a couple scratches, honestly. Like, I'm not even sure we really got bleeds during the ship launch. It was, it, it went off, like, perfectly. Maybe a couple small bleeds, but that's, that's the, the extent of it. It was, I was so overprepared. Guys, we had, like, 40 Masterwork and Legendary Assault Rifles. It was just, we were just mowing everything down. We had, like, 15 um, Shooting Specialists. It, we were on uh, Luciferium and Go Juice. It was just... It was just stupidly strong. Like, I, I think they could have... We could have literally just stand, stood in a line out in the open and probably killed everything that came to us. Um, Yeah. It ended up being the easiest ship launch ever because I prepared so much. All right. You can unmute if you're muted. That's what this means. Hopefully you know. I got to add, seriously. Yeah, it's because the original Melee run... The original Melee run, the, the ending episode... I called it the easiest ship launch of all time. <laughs> it was not. It was not. 
There were no Imperials to keep track of. That is right. That's right. Sandra, please. She is 100% uh, off cooldown. We're still on unstable branch, so hopefully that's not bugged or something. If you dump all of your wealth before the launch, will you get easier final waves? So there is a minimum raid point count for the ship launch quest raids. There's a minimum raid point amount, and they can also roll 1.2, 1.2 size. So you can reduce the raid size. Here we go. Manhunter, okay. You can reduce the raid size of the ship launch by reducing your wealth going into it. But the thing is, as soon as the raids come and people start dying on your map, your wealth is going to go up from those corpses. So I usually find it better just to already have so much wealth that you can just over prepare for the launch instead. We're at 2,600 raid points. Oof. Eighty-one manhunters. That's a lot of raid points, guys. Oh my god. That's like that's like almost fifty tribals. Is there any holy hand grenades around? Uh no, brother Maynard took the last one. Yeah. Took the last one. I don't know where he went with it. Are we on some pilgrimage or something? What's the zone around the base? That is to dump toxic waste so that it can expire and make a ring of poison around our base. <laughs> Max raid points is 10,000. Yep. There's bugs crawling. Ah, uh, cold snap. It's like a to toxic moat. Yeah, yeah, because we... Yeah, I, I did it because we have the gene that makes us stronger in toxic environments, and a lot of the enemies won't. So I'm trying to make the toxic area specifically where we're going to be standing during a lot of our raids. I thought that was a pretty good idea to do. I've never done it, so hopefully it works, but that was the idea behind it. A meme about this year will be better. Year of the rabbit. That it shows that rabbit. <laughs> All right. Is there a toxin build up on them? I don't know if they're around it enough to really get it. Yeah. It's not big enough to cover that area yet. I'm actually thinking we can do this in a better way. I think I will, but it, it they're going to get destroyed a bit, so I'm going to be careful doing it, but I have an idea. It's when the world is most worried about population decline. <laughs> Do the negative effects of toxic still apply with that gene or not? Uh, we have the gene that makes us immune to the other types too, so I think you need more than that gene to not get like cancer and stuff. Max rate points, Captain K, because of poor optimization. I think so. Yeah, I think it's a performance thing. What other cool moats can we make in RimWorld? I made a fire moat one time, and it was very slow. Basically, um, an extra room around the base that we just grew plants in and just threw Molotovs in. And it didn't work out too, too great because it was just slow to spread, you know? Autobong. Yeah, I might do that around it too, yeah. Because we are high life. In the long run, I might do that. Should be a pretty fun run to experiment with things like that on, yeah? It might not be a very fast run, especially... Well, it's definitely not going to be because of how we have to propagate our population, but... Like an, uh, like a moat of hay that you set on fire. The hay, um, the flooring, the straw flooring has 150% flammability, so that would go up really quick, yeah. That might be an interesting one to try sometime. We can't this, really, but... What manhunters are those? It's 80-something rabbits. <laughs> so look at this.
I'm gonna count them. 80. Uh, how are we doing on the cooldown? We got 1.4 years before we can double our population again. Guessing it's like, uh... Oh, there's only 63 left now. Some of them are already left. The Beast of Caravan. Oh, that's right. It's been busy. <laughs> Look at the bones, the teeth. Exponential growth. The high temperature mode like a wall where you do the fire mode Welcome inside. Back. Keep it at high temp Your with coolers or something. Loyalty is greatly appreciated. The problem is in RimWorld, as soon as there is a wall, as soon as it's not a room, the temperature inst instantly becomes outside temperature. Literally instantly. Doesn't matter how much is going in there. So if you have that around your base, it's going to be really hard to keep it at a temperature with any doors open to it anyway. You have that around your base and then um, a single wall or a single door goes down and just instantly becomes outside temperature. Soul Sapper. 17 months, almost a full calendar year. That's right. That's right. Thank you, Soul Sapper. Group of travelers, uh oh. You guys might be arriving right as you might be lucky. The rabbits just fell asleep. <laughs> that mechanical pollution is really slow. Yeah. Yeah. We're getting there. I I can make it a little bit faster. I had an idea to make it faster. I got him watching this. Way to go, popping. He's popping some caps. Popping, popping some caps. Sam doesn't know. Oh my God, Sam. I thought you were about to hit. Popping there. Uh-oh. Popping might have popped his last cap. The rabbits were like mostly asleep too. Yeah, we haven't gotten any of those. In this run, I want the toxic waste quest. We haven't gotten any of them. Popping. Sam, man, you're going to kill your friend. One missed shot and Poppin's dead. What's, where's the other guys? Prickles down there. Oh, Moen is coming. Poppin, man. Oh my God, Poppin. Wow. Wow. You only bandage one of your bleeds and then you keep walking. He's got like 10 bleeds on him. Ah, that's fine. Don't worry about it. Save that popping. Adam, why didn't you use medicine? You could, you could tin multiple at a time. It's more exciting this way. Think of the content. Oh, he's dead. Oh, he's, he's super dead. All right, now we get some long pork. Nice. Excellent. What was popping shooting skill? What were your shooting skills at? A zero <laughs> and a one melee. I had medicine turned off. Yeah, that was my whole point. Yeah, that was my whole point. Yeah, cat wants it. What's the mod I'm using for extra speed? Why, that is the no pause mod. It replaces my pause button with a 4x button. How long until the doubling? A year and a half. I don't have candidates for it yet. Sam! I'm not gonna use medicine on him either. Oh, oh! I lied. Crap. I said I wasn't going to, and then I accidentally clicked to use it. <laughs> Alright, Sam, we we're gonna make sure you live, apparently, because... After using two glitter rolled on you, 
I, I'm definitely getting the rep out of it. Don't make RimWorld multi-threaded. Rockman mod can't keep up with your race anymore. I don't know. Yeah, that's like my my dream list item. I was talking about earlier is that they uh, increase performance, but will will they ever be able to? I, I have no idea. Camera angle. He's really 411. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Someone say something. That's all I'm 6161. Six, one. It's not like super mega tall, but ju just right. 61. See my cat? Uh, They're both laying down now. They've been on the stream. Aries been on the stream, even though I didn't want him on the stream the other day. He was trying to get like on my friggin' monitor, but. But perhaps later. Kill your animals, help with performance. Yeah, it sucks. About the same height, Germ. There's the camera angle. <laughs> He's actually 411. He's, the camera just goes straight up. All right. So Cassandra could attack again. So when did that message come through? That was the 15th of September. Okay. So... So I'm in a couple days. So if we get to like day six of December, we'll know. Cold snap over. Um, yeah, it must have just ended. So the cold snap lasted about two days. That's about average, I think. About average. Cats doing cat things. It just ended. Tom Cruise camera tricks. I, um, I, I remember uh, seeing something a long time ago about Interview with a Vampire where they had to have him stand on like a box a lot of times or have like special shoes or whatnot or special camera angles. It was so much shorter than like Brad Pitt even. <laughs> Answer is great. The question was, who was the Greek god of war? You couldn't remember and you were upset. Kratos, obviously. You think they would have accepted that? No. All right, so we'll see if Cassandra attacks again. And after that, we're going to go trade some mushrooms. I might just send some of these off. Let's do a biofuel refinery. Like here. Oh, this is already roofed. Nice. Should have known since there's no rain coming down there. Should have known. Um, where do I want to put this? Make a spot right here. We can send these off for some gifts. I might, you know what? I could just call in a bolt goods trader from the pigs. That would do. And then we could trade it for, yeah, let's do that. And we could trade it for, um, maybe like some components or something. Find that biofuel. Going to knack here. Welcome in. Out of bed. Going to lurk a while. Doing some Lego. Have fun. Thank you for, thank you for the lurk. All right, we're gonna call in a bolt goods trader. The pigs will be here for too long with that. T Fark, three Your months already. T Fark, thank you for that. Greatly appreciated. Much love to the T Fark. All right. All right. Say it's the most productive drug in the base game. Grow time, work amount, price, etc. You love this answer. It depends. I really like Psychite Tea. So the reason I like Psychite Tea is because everyone can make it. It takes a level two cooking and it helps level cooking. So you only need a stove. You don't need the drug lab or anything. And pretty much everyone can do it. And it's a great way to level uh, cooking. So 
The other thing about Psychic Tea is I don't mind my people drinking it. It has very little downside, especially if they only have it every two days. So in almost all my runs, I use Psychic Tea both for selling um, and for consumption. So in, you know, if we have a drug binge, which is Psychic Tea laying around, I'm not too concerned about it. So I use Psychic Tea a lot. But if you're wanting like the most uh, profitable or whatnot per work time or per uh, materials brought in, then that's where you choose between Yayo and uh, Flake. But I usually use Psychite T, even though it's not quite as efficient, because everyone can use it without too much problem. And, um, you know, it's, e it's very easy to make. Very easy to make. Pretty much all the drugs are good. To, they're very light. They're, they're pretty profitable. So it's just up to you. Um, I like being able to dip into our own supply for usage, and therefore Psychite T. Uh, I don't like... Smoke leaf though, smoke leaf reduces consciousness, and that's a big no-no. Consciousness reduction, so. Yeah, yeah, it's a lot based like on work time versus total profit. So you gotta you gotta take into account the work time as well when you're comparing things like Yayo and Flake. Pretty much all the drugs are good. <laughs> Thank you for the 420 bits. <laughs> how apt, how apt. Paid weather. Huh. This is, uh, this is kind of interesting. We could have another off-map problem causer that is forced fog. Forced fog. The problem is the forced fog is going to actually probably benefit us over enemies aside from mechs. Mechs aren't impacted by it. The mech raids are going to be one of our scariest raids, so I probably shouldn't do it. <laughs> a new video idea. Best drugs in the rim, yeah. Leg is worth more money per leaf. Yeah, yeah, but leaves. Yeah, I think about that. Yeah, work time. So it's 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 trade off. Can't go wrong though. Pretty much. E even beer is, is a good selling. Like beer, as long as you're in a, uh, you can keep the temperature good on it. Like a keg of beer makes like twenty five beer every six days, and you have to do very little for it. So even beer is a good one to make. How do I get wood in this situation? Uh, you can dr grow fiber corn or trade for wood. Yeah, that's about it. Uh, forced fog will also prevent um, uh, forced rain, but the map is like devoid of vegetation anyway, so we're not going to have a situation where there's a lot of fire anyway. Okay, so I'm going to do this to try to get the pollution going a little bit faster. I need steel. We still haven't gotten it. Oh, you know what? I don't know if Cassandra's only going to attack once or twice this time. Uh, it's almost the day of her going on cooldown. Let's just see what we got from the... What? That deleted that whole zone. That's annoying. Let's see what we get from the... Uh, events, and then we'll go from there. All right. All right, it's dance party time. Dance, you fools, dance. You want Crispa? I want pollution, yes. Your steadfast loyalty. All right, keep a five wide packed dirt path around every base. Uh, Ragnar, thank you for the seven months, thank you, Ragnar. Loving the edited videos. Warhammer and Rimworld, that's awesome, yes. Uh, edited Warhammer is actually gonna be coming to YouTube soon as well. Probably should be able to get one of those out on Monday. Boring. Boy, you were dancing among the mushrooms. I know we have a horse in our house, but he's part of the party, okay? He belongs here. Gut worms on Splash Woman. Ah, it's just on the slave. Pex. Um, is Pex one of the ones that always comes with tough? There's a couple that always come with tough. You like to hear Helman Ghost. He's just horsing around, horsing around. Boring, come on guys. Do it again. Cast on half cooldown, be interesting to you. You love Cast, sometimes she is slow. We did a run against Igor who attacked every day. All right, let's accept Pex here and then we'll do the last two. We'll have a higher percentage with Pex. 
Should be in jealous nervous. Uh and cable violence. Yep. Mining. Um Let's see what we get. See if we get anyone else. Really crappy outcomes there, but. What's the net mood on the dances? I'm doing it for joint events, but you can get up to a plus 16. Vest, they have 18 months. Mushroom party, that's right. Big best. Oh my god. This is terrible luck. We're just we're just a generous bestowal. Absolutely grinding our mood down. That's really bad luck. A child? Oh no. Adam. Are you really going to do that to a child? I don't know. I'm not going to kill him. I'm just going to sell him into slavery. Okay. God, you're acting like it's such a bad thing. I mean, that, that's still a bad thing. You know what he's getting into. He knew. He knew. All right, there's that bolt goods trader. Can the child get tough? We're not raising children in this one, no. It's just part of the run. He could get tough, yeah, if we raised him, but we're not. Do we're not doing that in this run. Our last few runs, we have built the run off children, off the back of god children, but not this one. Another child assault on enemy base? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Actually, I think I'm going to sell him into slavery this time. Alrighty. Uh, A generous bestowal. So we're going to sell human leather and... We're going to sell some of the Nutrifungus here. Let's see. What do we want to get from you? Try to get all your components. A new subscriber. Come, steal yourself. We are I see something out of the corner of my eye. I'm not sure who it is or what it is yet, but a new subscriber. I just Come see blue see scrolling yourself. on my chat over there. We are building an army. Hang, hang on, hang on. Let me finish this transaction. Uh. All right, let's buy some Nutri while we're here. While they're here. I can. Oh, I can't. Okay. What is this? Ah, uh, Waffles, thank you for the 20... What is going on? Waffles, thank you for the 25 gift subs. Uh, Jesper, thank you for the 10 gift subs. And Fried Potato, thank you for the 20 gift subs. Jesus Christ. Um, thank you guys. It's very much appreciated. What is our sub goal at today? Um, we have hit sub goal slightly. Sub goal, uh, 144 out of 20. <laughs> We're almost there. Uh, thank you guys again, man oh man. It's very generous. Thank you for the support. Uh, I appreciate it. Thank you. So, a new subscriber, come steal yourself. What is we going on? There's so many of you doing it. Uh, Ricky Bobby. A new <laughs> That's what he gives subs. Come, steal yourself. Thank you, Ricky Bobby. We are building an army. Probably never heard this before, but I very much appreciate it. And Gonzo, they were 20 more. My lord. 
You know, the sub goal is not 20 subscriptions per gifter. It's tw just 20 total. I'm not complaining, though. Thank you. <laughs> I very much appreciate it. Thanks, Ricky Bobby. Gonzo, thank you as well. Did he just say the sub goal is 20 subs per person? No, 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 no. Uh, thank you again. <laughs> Uh, I need to na name the slave. Hang on a second. Instructions unclear. A gleaming Anakarian, thank you for the thousand bits. Thank you, Anakarian. Uh, all aboard the hype train. All right, bye. Let's see if you're working. Thank you, Anakarian. <laughs> Whoa, keyboard. Now, where are you hitting the sub button at? Sinner. Wow, a slave named Sinner. All right, Sinner, you're a slave. I'm sorry. But hey, you're a very important part of this colony. Now, put on your slave wrap clothing thing here. Your wear the body straps and then go out to the mines. <laughs> a new subscriber. Uh, how? They were the 500 bits. We are building what? Jesus army. Christ. Uh, Amazing Uncle Jay, thank you for the five gift subs. Waffles, steal yourself. Thank you for the 777 bits. And Session, army. thank you for the 20 gift subs. Tread lightly. This is booze. Oh, there's a 777 coming through. Yoshi. The alerts are delayed. Session, thank you for the 20 gift subs. Waffles, thank you for the bits. Uncle Jay again. And Pal, thank you again, too. Good lord, man. Good lord. If everyone in the chat is subscribed, what happens to the gift subs? It'll give them, it'll give them to people that aren't here. There's some algorithm that does it, like, you know, it'll start giving it to people that aren't here but that have been here in the past. If you have like 50 viewers and 100 is given, yeah, that's what it does. Yeah, like recent viewers, you know, people that had been subscribers before that aren't stuff like that. I've gotten gift subs in streams that I'm not at lots of times. Fo yeah, followers, yeah. Man, thank you guys again. <laughs> Happy Saturday. All right. Uh, Sinner, we're going to put you on hauling first. We can bring those in. My child just beat some mushrooms out of existence. Reminds you of a biotech release? Yeah, that was nuts. It's nuts, and so is this. He will join Crazy. us or die, master. It's not a good ship. All right, let's see. Uh, I don't think we really have much to trade to exotic goods, but we'll check. Your prime is canceled at the moment. Yeah, I know a lot of people are are canceling their uh, Amazon Prime. He has another job queued up, so it's one of the problems with no pause sometimes. He will join us or die, master. name three of your pets no need to thank you yeah oh we need to name the horse yeah we actually have a pet that we're keeping so let's go ahead and name that thank you for the reminder um let me see here manage channel points um come on twitch load load you can do it there we go all right this horse's name whoops, is Kia, and it's all capitals, so I'm assuming it stands for killed in action. I'm not so sure this horse is going to see any action, but... Let's see. A new subscriber. <laughs> Come, steal yourself. We are building an army. Still going on my end. Oh, there we go. Uh, V Day, thank you for the gift sub to Kovac and Waffles. They were the 50 additional gift subs. My lord. Uh, goal. Where are we at? 261 out of 20. That's nuts. Thank you again, Waffles, man. It helps so much. I'm sure you know. Can't compete with this. <laughs> oh, it's not a competition. 
Okay. Thank you. How's it going, Dana? Session. Thank you again. Andrew, welcome in. Graf B Day. Thank you as well. Man, Waffles. Thank you again. Man, what are you at, Waffles? Hang on. Two thirty-one. Selling your slaves? No, I need that slave. Uh, I'm gonna sell the child though. I'm probably gonna take him out somewhere. New subscriber, come steal yourself. We are building an army. Okay, <laughs> let's. Uh... Gonzo, every time I look over, the chat's just blue. It's just like scrolling. Gonzo, you're the additional 50 gift subs. What are you at already, Gonzo? I mean, you just... Gonzo just got here and is already at 90 gift subs. Gonzo, thank you for the support. Helps me the family out. Keeps me rimming. Keeps me rimming every week. Appreciate you. A new subscriber. Come, steal yourself. We are building an army. You guys are funding my rim obsession? No, <laughs> Uh, Jesper, thank you for the 10 gift subs. Thank you, Jesper, as well. Very much appreciated. Good lord, man. Uh, thank you, guys. <laughs> uh, I don't really care too much if this gets destroyed. It will get destroyed, but I don't, I don't mind too much, because that's, that's not why we're doing it, so. A new subscriber. Come, steal yourself. We are building an army. Potato, what? Didn't you just say? Hang on. <laughs> I was like, well, I can't do this. He will join uh, us potato, they were the 50 master. gift subs. Oh my God. This is another one of those. What, what's going on on the weekends? Like, I always feel like I'm dreaming. Uh, potato, they were the 50 gift subs. And V-Day, they were the gift sub to Fox. Thank you, V-Day. And thank you, Potato. How are we going to get to the 420 subs? Uh, watch on YouTube for quite a while. That's awesome. Yeah, thank you, Gonzo. I appreciate it. Hey, Toxic Waste Packs. Yes. We'll take them. We'll take them. I don't want any of this, but we'll take them. Hyperweave is good, though. A new subscriber. Come, steal yourself. We are building an army. It's going to be... Pineapple, I know pineapple. <laughs> pineapple comes in and goes, WTF subs. He will join us or die, master. Uh, thank you, civilian. I, I'm pretty, I'm pretty partial to the community, yeah. Waffles. A new subscriber. Come, steal yourself. We are building an army. I think it was at 420 for like a second. <laughs> what is going on? Um, hang on. Let me try to catch up here. What? What? Ricky Bobby? Waffles, thank you for the 48 gift subs. Zidian, thank you for the gift sub to Rom Nom, famous in a RimWorld run. Ricky Bobby. Thank you for the 100 gift subs. It showed it in two parts. Did you do it in two parts? No. <laughs> Twitch was like struggling. It's like, I'm not sure. Can't find anyone. We'll just do it. I uh, think with a hundred gifts. Subscriber. Come steal yourself. We are building an army. He will join us or die. Gonzo, thank you for the 50 additional gift subs. So here's the thing about this too. Gonzo, thank you for the 50 gift subs. It's very much appreciated. Waffles, thank you for the gift sub to Noobish. Here's the thing about this. Until relatively recently, um, a few months ago or so, I would read off every name that got gift subbed. Um, and I, I do that on like lower gift subs, obviously. But imagine if I read all these off. <laughs> I just literally can't do it anymore. Um, on, on moments like this, I should say. So anyway, uh, thank you guys again for all the gift subs. Unreal. Unreal. Ugh. Very much appreciated. Level 15. I don't think I've ever seen that. Oh, one other time, one other time. Went for lunch, then got 572 gift subs. What happened? I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure for you. Uh, time to wake up from the dream. No, I'm going to stay in this one. This one's pretty good. What's the next challenge? You do actually should run to see what we're doing right now. Yeah. Uh, wait, yeah, I think it reached 19 or something like that during the biotech launch, which was also nuts. 
That's insane. Minoc, thank you for the five bits. Thank you, Minoc. Oh my lord. Nuts, guys. Nuts. You think there was a granny quote buried in there somewhere? Uh who did who did the granny quote? Time to buy. Yeah, is this means mod wife is gonna Every time we have one of these really good like stream income days, we'll call it. Join us or die, she's like, hey, master. now on your day off, you have to take me to IHOP. <laughs> All right. Who's summoned Granny? You think we're almost at the 20 sub goal? Getting close. Getting close. Uh, we think we're the gift sub to Secret Chiefs. Thank you, we. Sarkhan did. Uh, Sarkhan, can you do the excavation uh, quote? Because I flow. Uh, Buster Chubnuts, thank you for the 888 bits. Thank you, Chubnuts. Was actually gonna go during her cooldown and get go back to some ancient dangers, but oh well, I guess uh, this is a little bit more important. All right, it's like my dear old granny used to say, Sarkhan. She was always saying this. God, things are. Things here are dirty. The 888 Wayne rap is the best. Pretty good granny quote. Man, oh man. I just keep looking at the number over there and it's like, hang on. Is that, is that real numbers? <laughs> he will join us or die. So I could do the caravan time. trick to bring more of this in at once. But whatever. Uh, Eversore, thank you for the, the gift sub to Sarkhan. And fried potato. Thank you for the gift sub to Zeppelin. Thank you, potato. Thank you, Eversore. That number is not an illusion. I know, I keep looking at it like... You're not far from... 666 gift subs. It's so crazy. Just a few minutes ago, I was looking, I was like, oh yeah, we got over 200. I admit... It's a nuts, it's nuts. 69% hype train again. Nice. Very nice. And that's a fort. Yeah, we're working on one. We're working on one. All right. Oh, 15. Yeah, that's crazy. How's it going? Flanders, Proto, welcome in. For Lex. Ain, where's your brother? Tonight, we dine in hell. Uh, Miss, Mrs. Deadite. Thank you for the 666 bits. It's very much appreciated. Thank you, Deadite. I think in the biotech release, we got to 19 or 20, yeah. Something like that. You still don't know? We might never know where your brother is? Okay. All right. Check it. I might have seen him. Don't think you've ever seen a hype train that high before? Yeah, it's no, no. Well, I guess we, uh, we will just work on getting all this moved in and getting our steel brought in um, before we go back out. So we're just going to chill. Let that happen and we will get some more of this research done. So we might as well. We might as well. Go ahead, Dennis. Welcome in. What would Satan stream if he was a streamer? Probably, let's just say, it's, let's say he would stream something wholesome. Like Hello Kitty Island Adventure or something. Genshin Impact. Greedfall. <laughs> Superman 64. He'd be, he would be a VTuber. <laughs> Satan would be a VTuber. Nothing wrong with VTubers. Satan would be a VTuber. And he would play Genshin. And his camera, hang on, his camera would be this size. I have a button for it. Where is it? All right, today we're playing Genshin Impact. And, uh, he will join us or die. We're gonna be doing a little. We're gonna be doing a little gacha, a little gacha. Every kind of gacha we can do, we're doing it today. What does he mean by that? You don't want to know what he means by that. Still very intimidated by the large camera. 
goats have joined. All right, all right, all right. Um, you can't do hauling. Okay, so you don't have a lot to do. That's fine. VTube is Granny or Sky God or Satan as well. <laughs> All right. Leave that child's bed. He doesn't need beds. He doesn't need a bed. Toxic waste getting hauled in. Very good. Very good. We're going to have this moat done before you know it. Before you know it. Um, Do we scan steel nearby yet? We have not. By doing the waste packs, I am letting them become toxic waste in a line around our base so that uh, we can use that area for a stat boost because we have a gene we have a gene that makes us have additional movement and additional another manhunter back wargs this time additional movement and um consciousness when we're in polluted areas all right so cassandra she hasn't done many um, animal attacks this run. Have we had any before today? Maybe one, so. Looks like she's having a mad animal day. Crisis of belief on the child. Can you execute a child? Like, execute ritual a child? And do people get unhappy about it or happy about it? You love the follow-up to no walls, like a massive amount of walls and doors. <laughs> I mean, how much can we sell this child into slavery for? Let's take a look. He's only worth 320 baseline, so we get like 280 out of him. Is it worth... Seeing what happens if we sacrifice him at a ritual for 280 silver. Yeah, I got it. Thank you. It's absolutely worth it for science. All right. When he's done with his breakdown, I think I'm going to check it out. I think so. For science. Yeah, for science. Need to calculate if selling a child in slavery or ritually sacrifice them is more profitable. <laughs> That's right. He doesn't give a lot of leather or meat, you know, so we'll get some we'll get some kickback, you know. You give slaves a reputation? Yeah, a little bit. They don't get a lot anymore, but. A bit like real life. So Cassandra only hit once that time. See if she hits twice this time. Legless blood bag prisoner with your fertilized embryos and incubate children too. Yeah, but I'm not I'm not gonna do any child stuff this time. But no, we we could we could keep impregnating prisoners if we if we really want to. But no, we're not gonna do it. Not this time. Our last few runs we have uh, we have used children to make god pawns over and over. So not this time. Child only run. <laughs> Home Alone run. <laughs> How many Nomad runs? No, I don't really like them. I, last time I did one was like 1.0 and it was a little bit boring. I just, it just wasn't for me. If I make the polluted area against wild animals, will they eventually die the pollution? I doubt it, yeah. I doubt it. The Peter Pan run. Talk about the Logan's run. Yeah, Logan's run run. <laughs> 
Missed all your explanations for the number of doors in the outer walls. Can you talk about it again? Uh, it's easier for me to talk about it when we get a raid. So, but the short explanation now is that I need a lot of places that we can pop out, kill a couple guys, and then run back in. So that's, that's mainly it. I just need a lot of areas that I can pop out of and kill people and get back inside because of the nature of the run. But, um... Yeah, I'll, I'll show in more detail once uh, once we have an actual raid. We're going to wait on converting it. Rain is a thousand times easier than when you stop. You can never get into gold. Sitting in gold too now, much more enjoyable. Yeah, yeah, they rebalance a lot of that, yeah. Nice. Pollution itself ugly. So. All right, the wargs are done with their stuff. So there are a few left on the map. They're leaving. Sanders off cooldown, but uh, I think I'm still gonna send Sinner out. Can gold. <laughs> Nope, what? Nope. nope about the beauty or it's not it's not ugly on its own. Nope. I'm guessing uh, your your chat's just delete a little bit, but I think that's probably what you're referring to, right? Nope. Nope. Hi. Oh no. What's the pollution rating at the... Oh, what, like the world tile for here? Let's see. Uh, it's only 1.4% apparently. What's the next project or hurdle? Right now, we are trying to get steel. Yeah. I'm getting the ring around this um, turned into a toxic wasteland pretty much. Hey, acid smog. Nice. Why is that nice? Well, it helps my people out. Well, not the slaves, though. They, they're going to be... Sinner? Oh, I didn't even check that. Sinner, what? You came addicted to Luciferium? Well, 1.4%. Yeah, we'll get it up there. We'll get it up there. Wow, look how lovely this map looks. The yellow really, really matches the mushrooms. It's nice. The name is apt. Food binge on Sinner. Sinner. Sinner, why have you done Lucifer? Why? Whoa, look at the mixture of the Aurora at the same time. What is this? That is pretty awesome, actually. I don't think I've seen the Smog and Aurora at the same time. Looking good. And we should go up to like the Arctic Circle area and pollute that heavily. Just move like, move India. You can't move, a, move India up there to like, you know. Greenland area. Hang on a second. What? Uh, waffles. They were 90 more. 90 more gift subs. Hang on, I gotta check. The... We did it. Well, I mean, you guys did it. 
666 subscriptions. Excellent, excellent. Uh, Waffles, thank you for the gift subs, getting us to 666, that is insane. It is very much appreciated. You walk away for one minute and it gets that high, I know. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Oh man, thank you guys again. Now you have to talk as Satan until, until you don't have 666 anymore. That's not a rule. That's not a rule. All right. Are any of you tough? No. Is this temperate forest? Yeah. Yeah. Can't you tell? Where? Waste pack infestation. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Where does the Genshin start? Conditions are inhospitable. Insects sometimes form stasis cocoons. Welcome Pollutants back. can stimulate cocoons Most and cause them to resurface. You can do nothing if they're disturbed or not disturbed. If a cocoon is disturbed or destroyed, the insect within will awaken and attack, triggering other nearby cocoons. Yeah, we're fine. Just leave it alone. It's fine. It's fine. What? Geist! They were the two months. Thank you, guys. 667. 667. No longer the evil. But we were there for quite some we were there for longer than we were at 420. <laughs> Thank you guys. Very much appreciated. Oh man. The waste pack exploding caused that. Holy crap. Get us through melee blocks. It, we're lucky that Christopher was on Go Juice. <laughs> I don't know that he would have been able to get back if he hadn't been on Go Juice. Holy crap. Nice. Where'd you go? Oh, crap. That cat has a major event. Might. Cool, nice. All right, Lumberjack, we're gonna get you a lot of mood here because you're gonna kill a lot of things. A new subscriber. Come steal yourself. Oh my god, what is we happening today? An army. It's just still going on my end. Twitch is trying to count the numbers, it just can't do it. There we go. Gonzo, they were 50 more gift subs, man. Thank you, Gonzo. Gonzo, I am uh I know you said you've been watching a long time on YouTube. I am happy that you enjoy the content, not just because of give subs, but thank you. Who's hungry for some delicious, delicious insect meat? All right, all right. Thank you, Gonzo. 
You're a sub now. Got BK, Jam, Boss, welcome in. Thank you guys for being here. All right, lumberjack, we're gonna we're gonna cut up some bugs. All right. Uh, let's put insect corpses there as well. Okay. Yeah, I'm, go I'm going to, yeah. I haven't grabbed it yet. I need to clear out the doors. Um, before I do any of that. That's the current most important thing. So we can shut those doors again. All right, and now we'll apply this. We got some barrels to go trade to. It's, it's get harder over time if wealth is the same. No, no, yes and no. Again, it kind of depends, but let's say you've had no deaths. You're a couple years into your game and you keep perfect wealth. You have no additional colonists, no additional animals. So you, you literally stay the same wealth, same population and you're not playing on wealth independent, then yes, raids will stay the same raid point. Yeah. But if any of that changes, it can it can change it. Well, the pollution, messing the mushrooms. Uh, I have it set to, to dig it up. We have a clear pollution there, so it takes some time. Big small because I'm polluting. Uh, yes, because I'm a polluting and I'm, I'm living in a polluted area. So if you settle, even if you don't pollute, if you settle nearby a polluted area, uh, you will get those kind of events. Yep. Um, I don't want the room stats. A lot of insect meat. I will go trade that. Yeah, that does count as a second major event, it looks like. I think we might go trade it. There are toxic potatoes. Yeah, there are, yeah. But our people have a mood boost from uh, from eating mushrooms because we're tunnelers. So I want to use that if possible. All right, so that side is done. Like a waste pack, put that on critical. I cleared everything else, right? Yeah. Okay, we'll copy that. Okay. Maybe we don't need this up. Well, I already did it, so it doesn't matter. observer welcome in yeah you'll get a message that pops up when you settle near enough to a place where you could get like um, the smog and whatnot it'll say you know if you a nearby area is polluted so every 150 days or every 80 days on average you're gonna get uh, a pollution event something like that all right let's send Christopher off to trade uh, that one resets in 4.6 days so we could go to this one and maybe we hit that on the way back, but if I need to, I need to go trade before the, um, you know, okay, we'll just go. I need to trade before that stuff, uh, deteriorates. So, all right, Christopher. It's plain leather, it's human leather. 150, the Psychite T. All the insect meats, all the human meats. Okay. Hit the road. 
Is this the impossibly difficult run I mentioned? No, we already finished that one. Yeah. This is the run after that one. Dumping packs on the tile next to your base gives you a significant chance for smog. Over time, it will. Yep. Yeah. The more polluted, the higher percentage that map is uh, of pollution. Yeah. All right, how long until our next year? 1.2 years. <laughs> My lord, man, today is so crazy. Uh, Observer, thank you for the 4,000 bits. I can't stay for long. Saw on VOD that you beat. No, yes, yes, it was insane. It was an awesome win. Thank you, Observer. Thank you for watching that, and thank you for all the bits. Very much appreciated. Very much appreciated. Trough and Poikug. Neither of them are tough. How do I handle mortar raids? Uh, last time <laughs> we got a siege right here, I rushed them. I rushed them and I used this as a melee kill box. So we came here and we we line of sighted to pull them around the corner and then I just beat them to death. Um, that's how we've done it so far. If they fall somewhere else, we'll call in allies and then we'll use the allies as meat shields. So. It was actually pretty, pretty awesome. <laughs> pretty awesome. Uh, we need another... Shield belt. Let me look for that while we're out to you. How do you, you change the styles if you have ideology yes, right here? When you make your ideology, you can add styles in it. Uh, the ones on the left supersede the ones to the right. So like if you have something on the left that says it impacts cataphract and then you have the next thing that says it impacts cataphract, it'll take the left style. So it's part of ideology. Whatever styles you choose. We have uh, spike core and totemic. Uh, DFC, they really give sub to a little bit, a little bit. Put something every two tiles to block mortar spawns. You can do that, yep. You can do it with just spots. If you go into the miscellaneous and you choose like caravan spot and you cover your map in all of it, they can't build their mortars. So if you want to, if you want to exploit it like that, you can, or you could just literally turn off sieges or something. But time till doubling about a year. About a year. Oh, crap. Oh, center's probably dead. Do go juice. You can maybe get there on go juice. Oh, go quick. Go juice. It's on their way. Oh, he's like one hit away. God, he has to be so close to dying. Get out of the way. He's he's dead. Yeah. Uh, do the first ten like that. I don't I don't have any medicine on him. Do any of you guys have medicine? I don't have him carrying it. Uh, maybe, maybe he's not dead. A Goju's coming in super handy. Got his right leg eaten off. He was really close. 10% conscious. Like, literally one more hit by the bear. I think he's dead. Wow. That's actually crazy. That's crazy, Sinner. Goju's for the win, I guess. Jeez. All right. Okay. <laughs> Should probably brought some uh some other stuff. Um more mushrooms and stuff. Alright, let's see. They don't have any tech prints. Uh sh no shield belt, right? No helmet that we want. Back. Your steadfast loyalty. No armor that we want. Appreciated. Shooting trainer, no. So, none of this. We just grab components while we're here. We're going to need a lot of components over time. 
or I could keep the money. Let's keep the money. We have um we have like four other settlements that are about to reset. We'll just keep the money. I lost a leg during that. That sucks. Yeah, that, that was probably the highest bleed I've ever seen yet. I don't know how they survive. They don't have our genes, right? No. I was 100% sure they were dead. Another revenants. Uh, Sad Raisin, they were the four months. Thank you, Raisin. Much appreciated. Man, I cannot believe Sinner survived that. Oh, it was probably Luciferium. Yeah, I wasn't even thinking about that. I was like, how did that actually happen? Luciferium giving them the blood filtration, blood pumping, consciousness increase. That alone was the 10% that he needed to live. Okay, it's Luciferium that saved him. <laughs> I completely forgot. The devil's bargain. Tonight, we dine in hell. Tonight, Sinner dines in hell. Uh, thank you, Waffles, for the 666 bits. Are you getting Waffles? It's gone crumb. Oof, welcome in. Loose Virium. It's a pretty good drug. Pretty good drug. Pretty good. All right, when Chris was back, we're going to check on sacrificing this child. Plus in the day, do drugs. It saves lives. So. What does the double door do? Exclamation doors. I have a clip explaining a lot of that. So exclamation doors will give you two clips that should... Oh, I forgot to give them the goats. What is this freaking cougar? Did the goat get the killing blow? <laughs> Way to go, goat. Goat's revenge. Goat chomped the cougar, tearing his neck. Nice job, goat. <laughs> Literally the goats. I think that deserves, uh, hang on. Adam, why do you have a goat nearby? You must always have a goat on hand. Is that your cat? <laughs> no. The goat wants to be a melee gun. Oh, man. Ah, uh, the goat doesn't have a name, actually, which is surprising. Usually my daughter names all these things, but... My goat doesn't have a name. Wait for the screen for a second and then you heard <laughs> there was goat screaming, yeah. Do a poll for the goat name. Your steadfast. Leroy! Thank you for 18 months, Leroy. 18 is a fine number, a fine number. All right, Sandra is back on cooldown. Uh, what do I do? Maybe we want to go hit some ancient dangers while we're waiting on some stuff to get done. So, unfortunately, Sinner lost his leg, so... Uh, let's try to give him a leg before we go. Even if it's just... Do we have wood left? We have some wood left. Top peg leg, uh, right leg. All right. Operation. Okay. Welcome back. Egg leg it is. Your steadfast loyalty is greatly appreciated. And yeah, let's go hit up some uh some ancient dangers while she's on cooldown. Very slow, baby. Do an animal heavy run, your five year old names of all, yeah. Pop ancient dangers without leaving abandoned settlements all over. Uh no. No, there's not. I mean, you can, you, yeah, you can abandon them, but it'll still show that white thing on the map. 
Uh, Captain. Thank you for the Twitch Prime. Thank you, Captain. Why no floor? Just well control. That's part of it, but also I don't want to have to clean. Uh, dirt doesn't get dirty, so. Not like floor does. But yeah, no floor yet. We'll eventually get there, but it's mainly wealth, yeah. Jimmy Hippopotamus, thanks to your kid. All right, let's go hit some ancient dangers. Uh, you know what? I'm going to split the... Hang on. I'm going to split the recording so this is easier to upload to YouTube. Um, I'll be right back while it's splitting. Stream is going to continue on for hours and hours, but I will be right back. Imagine if a drop pod raid right now. Uh, it can't happen. Yeah. Sanders on cooldown. All right. Starvation, what? 